we know that the objects we see are three-dimensional. By using cubes, we'll correctly represent different surfaces. The cubes will serve as our measurement tool for the pattern, helping us determine where the pattern will be placed and how much space it will occupy. Our goal is not necessarily to make everything perfect right now. We're in the learning phase of the technique. Precision is important, of course, but our primary focus is on learning. Over time, you'll get better at using the cube. Even if you choose a different method among many, knowing this technique is beneficial. In this video, you can see both simple and complex examples. In the examples, we observe prominent cube lines. You don't need to draw thick or overly precise lines. Cube lines are there to help us. These lines can remain as faint marks on your pattern, or you can erase them later. It's up to you. Don't think of the cube only in terms of drawing objects. It can be used as a measuring tool for all patterns. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments. For example, I drew a cube around the object and moved it accordingly. This allowed me to see how much space the object occupied within the cube and easily place it inside. In the second drawing, I will position the cubes according to the composition. With multiple objects, some cubes may overlap or be placed in front of or behind others. The cube technique helps us easily solve these challenges. You don't need to draw a cube that matches the exact size of the object. The cube should be sized according to the scale of your drawing. The reason we use cubes is that objects are three-dimensional. Since objects have sides and tops, we draw the cube to reflect that. When placing the drawing of the object within the cube, you can observe how much empty space there is, which shows how much space the object takes up inside the cube. By using the cube as a reference, we define the object with lines. We can draw lines to indicate the curves of the object and the shaded areas depending on the direction of the light. At this stage, you can see and correct any incorrect lines. As you progress, you can gradually darken your lines and add shadow lines step by step. Doing it step by step allows you to maintain control over the drawing. If you detect an error, you can address it in the next stage without needing to erase anything. I hope you will subscribe to support this content. Feel free to leave comments for any questions or steps you'd like to know more about.